Um, let's talk to John, Manchester United fan. He says, if Sir Jim Radcliffe comes in, we won't win a thing. Um, what, what? Talk to me, John. Why do you think that? Well, my, I've been following him since like, I was like seven years old. That's why I've seen the rubbish in the 80s, the great in the 90s and the 2000s. And Jim Radcliffe can just think he can walk into that football club and be welcomed by the fans. Uh, it's not going to happen, Mr. Radcliffe. If you bring the Glazers with you, you are a Glazer. You are you, you are in their family. We do not want you. We don't want the Glazers. We want you out of our club, out of our lives forever. And Jim Radcliffe, he thinks he can turn up 20 games. Well, it's not going to happen. I mean, he owns Nice as well. That was another thing that no one's actually mentioned. He owns Nice. You know what I mean? So is he going to have to sell that club? You know what I mean? It's like the guy, he's just, he's just played the fans along along with the Glazers, what they've done. So he, just, he was hoping to get bigger bids a big fight, who's going to pay six billion, and no one in the right mind was going to pay six billion, and, it's, and now, they're, they're that desperate to stay in control of the club, they will probably accept his offer, and United will not probably win the Premier League for another 30, 40 years, with this, the way football is now with Man City, Newcastle, yeah, it's not right, what they, with them owners, but, like you said, that's what football is these days, if, if you've got money, you will win things eventually. You will win things and dominate. It's, it's interesting, John, um, isn't it? Because you know what? I don't like sitting there and, and saying that an owner that, you know, is a local lad and he supports the club. And I, I do feel a little bit betrayed by this Jim Radcliffe bid because um, as little as two weeks ago, we thought it was between... Qatar and Sir Jim to buy the whole club and literally three days ago we got this breaking story that Sir Jim couldn't afford the whole club and was going to buy 50% of it and then he was going to keep um, 20% of the Glazers there and 30% on the New York Stock Exchange and he, he, you know he was borrowing money to do that and the debt would be there I mean this protest the tomorrow there's people mind. calling in tonight it's, be, yeah. go on. I hope it's massive tomorrow I hope tomorrow is I couldn't care less if we win or lose, lose tomorrow. I'd rather the fans just, just didn't turn into turn into the game and just all walked out. But we've got to show some sort of demonstration on the TV. I wonder where Mr. Neville is tonight, Mr. I know it all politician that he thinks he is. I've I really fell out of Gary Neville this last two or three years. And his silence is absolutely deafening. 